What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to do a durability test on a brand new Nexus 6P made by Huawei. I test every new phone that comes out, iPhone, Android, Samsung, HTC. I see if they can be scratched, burned, or bent. Things that can happen in everyday life. So let's jump in and see what happens with the Nexus 6P. I'm going to try something a little bit different this time. Doing scratch tests with keys or razors is great and everything, but it would be nice to have a more definitive scale. So I have a set of picks that will tell me where the glass falls on most scale of hardness. It will give us a numerical value of how hard the screen actually is. A number one on most scale would be the equivalent of talc powder. A 10 would be as hard as diamonds. My razor blade ranks in at about a 5 or a 6 on the scale, so you can use that as a reference from my previous durability videos. The picks have a different material on either end that correspond with a different number on most scale. A level 5 pick can't scratch something that is a level 6 in hardness. None of my picks would scratch a diamond because it is a level 10 and the hardest of them all. You can see that the picks 1 through 5 did absolutely nothing to the 6P's Gorilla Glass 4. But right around pick number 6 we can see a faint mark. 7 left a more visible scratch, and 8 and 9 were obviously tougher than the glass as well. I'm fresh out of diamonds at the moment, so we won't delve into number 10. Wait, did you just see that? I tap the screen with my pointer finger and the glass cracks from my finger and a scratch test. These scratch tests are not overkill. Sand can be a level 9. Pavement in a parking lot can reach a level 9. And the glass from the 6P cracked from a scratch test. Well, maybe the phone won't suck in every other category. Hit that thumbs up button if you're glad that this is my phone and not yours. Let's try the burn test. This phone has an AMOLED screen, which is the same type of screen that the Samsung phones have and some of the LG phones. Every other phone has survived the burn test, including the iPhone, so let's see what happens with the 6P. Strange enough, the phone turns white when heat is applied. Every other phone turned black, so let's see if it recovers. Spoiler alert, it does not. The white stays on screen even when the phone is powered off. This is a sad day for the Nexus 6P. I never thought I would be comparing something to the HTC M9 positively, but even the M9's brushed aluminum back is more scratch resistant than this. The iPhone 7000 series aluminum is infinitely better. It is super disappointing to see this behavior from a Nexus flagship. The camera lens is relatively scratch resistant. Yay. Let's move on to the bin test. As you can see, the phone is still fully functional at this point, although it is probably angry with me. I am going to apply a little bit of pressure and yikes. I am being completely serious when I say my little sister could have bent this phone in half with her hands. The Nexus 6P is a joke, hands down. I have not been this disappointed since seeing Jar Jar in The Phantom Menace. Hit that subscribe button if you want me to continue testing phones before you go out and buy them. I hope this video answered any questions you had about the Nexus 6P's durability, or lack thereof. Thanks a ton for watching, hope to see you around. And if you're super bored, follow me on Instagram at Zach's Jerry Rig. Thanks again.